Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, I am going to pull one of my parts cars from the shed, from the bush, up near the farm for my 68 Coronet. I got a good 68 Coronet and then I got a parts car for the windows and stuff, but it's totally complete. It's a small block car. Hasn't been running in like 20 years, so I'm going to pull it in the garage and see if we can get it fired up and do some burnouts. Look at this slap of Bondo. I think I'm going to put a piece of tape over that. Oh, I just love moss. Okay guys, we just pulled up. This thing's been sitting a while. And here we go. Look at that, we got a 1968 Dodge Cornet. Small block, looks like a 318 Auto, but it's got power steering. Fender tag's gone, which is unfortunate, but looks like it was a nice shade of yellow. Looks pretty much original. We got a different fender on that side. Looks like a bruised banana. We'll get the drug out and have a better look at it. Oh, oh look at that, look at that hunk of Bondo. Looks like the water pump is still here. That's good, just probably bolt that right back on. Yeah, okay, power steering pump. I'll bolt that back on too. Okay. Right there on the K member here. Somewhere solid. So I got the chain hooked up to the K-member. I'm gonna go hook up to the trailer and just back right up and winch it right on. Let's go grab the trailer. Got the trailer tilted. I got it pulled out of the hole it was in, but this door doesn't seem to be opening. Got to open from passenger side. While it's, while it's off the trailer here, I'm gonna pull the seat out and pull the front bumper out, kind of get it ready because I'm gonna run it by the car wash and give it a rinse. Boom, guys, we're loaded up. Seat belts on, cars on the back. Getting pretty ramped up right now. Got my Gatorade. We're all washed. 
and back this thing up to the garage, get it unloaded and uh, see if the engine turns over. Well, we got the car in the garage. It's looking awesome. Pretty rough, but awesome. So I'm gonna pull the hood off, set it on the roof, and um, check out this 318. I mean, it's been sitting open like this for probably 20 years, so I assume it's probably stuck. So I have another 318 at, at the farm that I might bring in and just drop in to not waste any time, but still lots of good parts on this engine. And it, you know, it could be savable obviously, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of strip this thing down and check it out. Okay, well, pretty much determined this engine is uh, no good, so. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get the engine crane already set up, get this thing pulled out, ready for the new engine to go in. When I say new engine, I mean out of some other piece of crap. And uh, we'll be one step closer to doing burnouts. So I had it all jacked up. I have the starter off, the supports, the um, transmission cover and all the blower transmission bolts out. I just have to loosen the engine mounts off. We took the exhaust off already. I set it back on the ground, rolled it out the garage a bit so I got lots of room for the engine crane. I'm gonna hook the chain up and remove the engine mounts. Disconnect a couple wires, which are mainly already disconnected from whoever was in here before, about a million years ago. But uh, other than that, it's ready to pull. I'm gonna probably just set this on a tire for now. I'll probably need the oil pan and a couple other things to get it back in the car from whatever engine I get up. I thought it had a super B stripe, but it's actually rust. Okay guys, back out here at Mopar Acres. Just gonna grab an engine from the car. Um, so, this is a 1977. 1977 318. I don't know anything about it, but I assume that it's probably Pretty good. So uh, we're gonna grab the tractor, load it up in the truck, get it back in town, see if we can make two engines. See if we can make two engines out of one. Okay guys, I did get the other engine in from the farm. We're gonna put these two engines side by side and go through them both, pick the best one and put it together as cheap as possible. This whole car is gonna be put together on a budget. We're gonna see how cheap we can get it back on the road, running, driving, doing burnouts. So, we're gonna keep you posted through the whole thing. Prices, everything gonna be written in the description. So stay tuned for part two.